This is a clothes dryer, and if you've ever had a clothes dryer that had enough room for your hose vent in the back, you're very lucky. Most people do not. Today, we're going to show you how to install this flat periscope dryer vent from Whirlpool. And I'll show you how you can buy this at Amazon in the link below. If you're here because you want to learn about a dryer vent, the first thing you want to do is hit that subscribe button so you can come back to this video at a future date when you're ready to put in your dryer vent. It'll be very important to you at that point. You don't want to miss out. So the tool list says you need to have 10 snips and a screwdriver, but I have put a nut driver on because it's easier to fit the nut driver over top of the little screw heads, which are just this size, rather than try to do it with a Phillips. Makes it go a lot faster. All right, first thing we're gonna do is pull this thing away from the wall. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off this old vent. easily this thing was not working very well it's a good idea once you have your dryer vent off to go ahead and vacuum out all the lint I now see part of the issue this vent is has a, about a half inch maybe not even that in front of that little screw while the bottom part of it has side part is a little bit more and so this vent is not pulled out enough to where you can get a good grip on that to install the ring around that that's why the hose keeps coming off there reading the instructions tells you to measure the distance between the two vents and add three to six inches so i have my line drawn all the way around and so that's to the 12 inch mark to give me a little room in here. So now I'm going to get after this with my 10 snip. Cuts very easily. anybody from getting hurt like me I'm going to tape over this edge okay I've got one side cut off now it's important to go and do a dry fit and what I found out is these sleeves are supposed to fit over the existing sleeves for the exit vent and the vent from the dryer. And the reason that is, is because the clamps they give you will fit over top of that and they close in on this. So you need to have these making sure they'll fit over the top of the other. So this one then looks to be the identical size to the other, so I'll have to cut some uh, expansion slots in here to where this will flare out just a bit so I can get it in and probably the same thing for this one here so now we're going to cut those and then we'll come back and try to fit again so our expansion slots are no more than having little relief points in our tin to where it will flare out and you can have this thing closed on it so I've got one, two, three, four on that one. This one on this side, I'm probably gonna cut a little bit, one more. And then these guys, the rings will go around that and be able to clamp it shut. So now I'm out here, I know I got this, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this one to size as well. Okay, so I have the box in place, and I have it screwed on here. 
So it's important when you do this that you put your flange holders, these little rings with the nuts in the positions and position these to where you're gonna be able to screw them easily. So this one here, I wanna make sure it had a little bit of a movement towards that way so I could get it tight enough that it would rip into there. Now this has these little grippers that match what's actually on the vent here. So that looks good. So now we have to match this up with this side over here. Because in my case where this gas line is here, it's probably going to make contact with this here, prevent this from being able to push in as flat as I would like it. So my solution may be to make a longer flange for here. So we're going to try to dry fit that to see if this is going to reach, and if it doesn't, we'll just put a different flange on there. Okay, just as I suspected, so I have my gas line making contact with my box here, so I can't push back any farther. So for this vent right here for my flange, I have somewhere between an inch and two inches short of here. So what I'm gonna need to do is cut me another piece of tin that will fit from here to there to cover that gap. So that shouldn't be too hard to do. So let's see if we can get that done. So I'm gonna take my old vent and I'm gonna cut three inches off of that. So that'll fit. So I've marked this for three inches. And I'll just use a pair of scissors to cut this. Okay, so here's the piece we cut. And it looks like that's gonna fit just fine. So now all we have to do is pull this out slide this over here and they come in and we're going to use a couple of clips to get that working. So here's the dryer vent. It's all hooked up and you can see the gas line touches the box there so we know that's as far in as it'll go and our exhaust vent is exactly right in front of the other vent. So if we need to pull this out we'll just have to slide it out as is and go from there. It'll certainly work it's a lot better than have a crunched up line. I'll get a little aluminum tape to seal this edge up here and the one the other end. And once I do that, it'll be airtight. There we go. So if you liked our dryer vent installation, you found it helpful, hey, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it greatly. If you want to see more of our home repairs and maintenance? Hey, be sure to subscribe down below. And as usual, Come back and see us real soon.